Electrify America was created to propel the adoption of electric vehicles, and that is our core mission. And we've really focused on the main pain point that has existed, which is having the right kind of charging infrastructure out in the public that everyone can take advantage of. The consumers, they're at the center of everything we do because they're going to propel the transformation. We kind of saw what happened when everybody stayed home and all those vehicles, those combustion vehicles weren't on the road. We did see an impact to the environment. Electric vehicle adoption is still rising. It's growing and it's growing at a fast pace, but it's still not where it needs to be for mass adoption. And so anything the federal government, the state governments can do to help from a financial standpoint, help make the investments and make those investments early so that adoption can happen is very critical. My kids, they are used to riding in electric vehicles essentially since they are born. For them, it will be absolutely natural to drive electric vehicles. We start to invest quite a bit into different STEM programs so that we can start teaching kids about the technology, about how they work and the benefits of electric vehicles. So at a young age, they start to understand. One of the things we're doing to encourage the automakers to help speed the transition is really building out the network and building out this network of ultra-fast charging stations across the country. The Boost Plan is an exciting plan we announced earlier this year to really double down on our investment so that people have the range confidence they need to get into an electric vehicle. The goal is to ensure that any vehicle, new, old, future, you pull up to an Electrify America station and you're able to charge. The charger and the vehicle have to talk to each other, communicate properly, and be able to, to handshake so that power can be delivered. The charging stations we're putting in place today are not just for the vehicles of today, but they're for the vehicles of tomorrow. 